So to add filter into our query, we're going to add arguments to this feed field. We're going to add the filter arguments. And here you notice that we're going to take this argument as a string and it is optional. And we're going to use this filter inside of the query.js to be able to filter the data that we want. And notice here that for the filtering and sorting in Prisma clients, you can see that we can be able to use the where clause to filter items. What we're going to do is inside of the code, we're going to filter by the description or the URL. So if the description contains the filter or the URL contains the filter, then we're going to select this record and then we're going to get all the records and return the records back to the client. And of course, if the filter from the argument is empty, then we're going to have an empty object, which in this case, we're going to fetch all the records that we have for the links. So on the playground, so what we're going to do first is we're going to refresh our server, start our server. And let's say if we don't pass in the feed, and you can see that these are the data that we have. And you can also view those data inside of the Prisma Studio. And here you can see I have the Prisma Studio running by running the npm run view db, or we can be able to run the npx Prisma Studio command to be able to view our Prisma database. So for example, let's say if we're looking for all the links where the URL or the description contains the ABC. So if we were to run this, you can see that these records contains ABC either in the URL or the description, and these records will be fetched. And of course, we can also be able to add pagination to our query. So here in the query here for the feed, we can also be able to add the skip and a take, which in this case, we can be able to skip how many items and take how many items. So let's say, for example, we're on page one and we're taking only one item. So we're skipping zero items and we're only taking the first item, which in this case, we're only taking one item. And let's say we're on page two, then in this case, we're skipping one item and then we're only taking one item, right? So. In this case, what we're going to do is inside of the query, we're going to modify this. So we're going to have the argument take the skip and the take, which pass it to the find many. And this will basically allow us to add the pagination to our query. So what we're going to do then is we're going to restart our server. And then we're going to come back to our playground and we can be able to see the changes inside of docs. So we have the take and the skip, which is integer. And what we're going to do is that we're going to have the take, which in this case, we're going to take just one and then for skip let's say we're on the first page and we're not skipping anything so our expectation is that we're going to only see this record so if we were to run this query you can see we only have this one record and if we were to skip one which means that we're on the next page in this case we're going to expect the second item so we have this one right here and of course we can also be able to remove the filter that we just add and here if we were to take all of them you can see that this is what we have. And we can also be able to take multiple items. So for example, we can be able to take two and skip one. So in this case, we're starting at index one, we're taking two items from index one. So if we were to run this query, you can see we have item two, item three display in the list. And of course, we can also be able to add sorting to our query. So inside of the schema.prisma, you can see that for link, we can be able to sort by the created at description URL. And inside of the schema.graphql, what we're going to do is we're going to add an input type for the query feed. In this case, we're going to add the ability for user to sort by the description or the URL or the created at. And here you can see that each of them has a type of sort and this is an enum. So in this case, it can only be either ascending order or descending order. And what we're going to do is we're going to add this to our feed. And again, it is optional. So we don't have to add the explanation mark. And then back to our query.js, what we're going to do is we're going to add this to our query. In this case, we can be able to order by specific properties. So now if we were to restart our server again, and come back to a playground. And if we were to look at our docs for the feed, you can see that we have the order by, which in this case, you can see that we can be able to specify the description or the URL or the created at. And for each of them, we can be able to either assign a the ascending order or descending order here. So back to our query, we can be able to order by the created at, which in this case, is it gonna be an ascending order? So you can see that these are the objects uh, and we can also be able to order these items by the created at for the descending order. 